Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So you may recall last year myself and a couple other YouTubers reviewed a product called the Renovo Oasis Water Filtration System. And in the video that I did, I went against the advice of many survival experts and I drank my own piss as a demonstration of how effective the filter was. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the upgraded version of that. It's called the MUV and this is actually a prototype it's in the final phases of their Kickstarter campaign. They've already got the funding they needed, but if you wanted to support the Kickstarter campaign after you watch this review, I will post a link in the description. Pretty innovative water filtration system that I think is going to set the standard for things to come. So let's check it out. All right, so basically what you're getting here is a modular water filtration system. What Renovo wanted to do was make a water filtration system that you can use in a variety of different configurations. So you can use it on a water bottle, uh, you can use it on a hydration pack, you can drink out of it like a straw, like the life straw, you can use it as a gravity system. You can use it as a pump, which they don't show here, which they didn't really send me to review, but they have images of it. So I'm assuming that that's going to be an option. And yeah, so you, you can use it in a variety of diff different configurations. And it's all modular. It's interlocking male and female parts. Um, as you can see here, there's three different modules. And I'll just go over what the different modules do. So this first module here filters out chemicals. Remember, this is a prototype, so this isn't actually functional, so I've never tested it, but I assume it's gonna work just like the Renovo Oasis did. So this is gonna fil filter out your chemicals. This is the activated carbon filter. It's gonna filter out your, you know, your heavy metals and sediment and stuff like that. Uh, this is gonna be your main filtration system here, the one you're probably gonna use the most, and that's gonna filter out bacteria. And finally, you're going to have your nanolum filter, which is going to filter out pretty much everything with a main emphasis here on viruses. So you have your chemicals, your bacteria and your viruses. And this is actually going to filter out chemicals and bacteria as well. You may be asking yourself, well, why aren't they all uh, this nanolum filter, which is, you know, the one that pretty much removes everything. Well, the thing is, this can only filter about 60 to 80 gallons, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll post the exact amount in the video here. Uh, whereas this uh, hollow fiber filter can filter up to 80,000 gallons, I do believe. Now, these two filters can be back flushed, so that may extend the life of them uh, to a certain extent. But generally speaking, this is going to be your main filter. If you find yourself in a really sketchy neck of the woods where there's, you know, a lot of industrial stuff, you may want to bust out uh, one of these filters to fix the taste. Uh, the carbon filter is going to make it taste a little bit better. And of course, this is going to keep out any viruses. Now, as I said before, the interesting thing with this system is that you can use it in a variety of different configurations. So you can use it as you would the life straw. So if you wanted to, really, if, if it was just uh, filtering out chemical taste, which you're probably not going to use this on its own a lot, but you could in theory. And so you could do that or you could just uh, screw on the bacterial attachment here, drink out of the river like that. There's a cap for it, of course. It's in that straw-like configuration, so you can sip it uh, anti-gravity style. And of course, if you wanted to uh, put the last one on there, it would be nice on these water filtration systems if there was some sort of indicator as to when the water filter was not good anymore. I know some of them just stop working, and that's an indication that they're not good and they stop, you know, that the suction stops. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case with this one or not. It does have an anti-roll design, so you know it's flat on one dimension, so it's not gonna, you know, roll away on you. Uh, there is a pre-filter on here as well, so that's gonna get rid of your larger sediment, so that's not gonna get into your filter, extend the life of your filter. It's got a fairly ergonomic design to it, I'd say, and it's a decent size. It's not too cumbersome. If they are gonna include the pump with this package, I'm not sure how that's exactly gonna work. If they are gonna include the pump, it might be nice if there was some sort of case for all this stuff. Uh, for the most part, it's contained just within what you see here. That lid goes on there. They do send you this water bladder too, so you can just remove that part there. 
and uh, take that off the spout there, put that into there. So if you wanted your three level filtration, or if you just wanted the nanolum filter, you can have that. Or if you just wanted your hollow fiber filter, you can have that. So anyways, I think that this is probably one of the most innovative designs that I've seen in terms of water filtration and the modular aspect. I foresee it being a big success. Do I think that it's absolutely necessary? Not as depends on where you live. You know, I mean, if you live way out in the bush, you're probably never going to need the, the carbon filter. Uh, you may never need the virus filter, the nanolum filter. You may only need the hollow fiber filter ever. So in that case, you know, is it that necessary for you to, to have all of these components all the time? Probably not, but it's nice to know that you have them. I really like this water bladder idea because the thing I don't like about the life straw and uh, the survivor filter and things like that is that you have to stop and use it. And I know some of them are compatible with water bottles like this one is here. I'll just demonstrate that for you. So you would put this on there and uh, you can screw it on like that. There's a lot of filters that are compatible like that, but uh, it's very convenient to have this attachment right here to just be able to scoop a bunch of water, especially in this kind of configuration that they have where you can just easily submerge this in water and take a nice big gulp out of there quickly not have to you know piss around and try to put this underneath you know below the water level to get the water in there in the creek if it's a really low creek or something like that that's probably one of the, the biggest selling points for me on this is just the ability to quickly scoop a bunch of water put it in a water bladder keep on moving from any water source basically and uh i just think that that's that's plain awesome you know i, I actually really do the more i think about this product i think it's going to be a hit and I look forward to seeing the many different styles that come out in the future. One recommendation I would make to the company is to offer it in different colors. Uh, personally, I like the Urban Preppers color coding system, uh, the colors of prepping system. I'll post a link to that video if you haven't seen it yet. Just a great idea in terms of organizing uh, your preparedness goods. And basically uh, the color for water is blue. So it'd be nice to see this offered in a blue color. I think it would still be visible it would still be high vis you still be able to detect it against a forest backdrop or something like that with relative ease depending on the nature of your vision of course the more I think about it the more practical I think this idea is so I would encourage you to be a part of history I'm gonna go that far and say be a part of history and go and support this campaign now I don't get any kickbacks for saying that I'm hoping they send me a couple of these one to give away to you guys and one for myself but, uh, you know, I really do think this is going to be something that really takes off in a big way. So if you want to get yourself a bit of a discount, there might be that option. I haven't really looked into the campaign that much, the details of it, but you can go check it out. There might be some sort of special on if you pre-order or something like that. So go check it out. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.